that dunk in that second half mm -hmm. hurt. You hyped over the, you hyped up the crowd, you hyped up your bench. What was going through your mind when you got it? How how awesome are these moments for you? I mean, the moments are great. I feel like just those are the things you live for, you, uh, you you dream of in that situation. So I remember just spreading the floor, and TK told me to twist the screen, so I twisted it. And once he hit me, there was nobody there, so I knew I had to raise up and go get it. But just giving energy, energy giving uh, plays like that is huge for our team, and I'm really excited. Yeah, Chase, a couple of big threes, especially in that second half, he hit a big three. What have you yeah. seen out of him in this game, you know, stepping up, especially with Cam and foul trouble? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a hooper. He's a dude. I knew we can always count on him going to make things right. Like you said, Cam got in foul trouble, but him coming in brings us more defense anyway, so we knew that to win this game, it was going to come on a defensive game. So I'm just I'm so happy and excited that he's on our team and he gets to go back home to Dallas. Yeah. I want to ask about uh, Tyler and Cam and the way they're seeing the play off each other. I know they've been doing this for three years, but yeah. in your mind, why did they play so well together? Um, that's a lot of this group to kind of play. Um, I think it's just coming down to you know loving each other and wanting to win. <laughs> So we know if we want to win, <clears throat> have them give them to the ball, have them play with each other, and they know that once they have the ball, they can go out there, they can make plays happen. So, like you said, it's going on year three of us, you know, making magic happen. So, you know, we extra confident with them to having the ball and they showing up. Thank you so much. So yeah. last year, you guys were, everyone was talking about Mark Hector with this tournament. This year, you guys were the number two seed to be picked up. That's something most, but now you're going to the Sweet 16. It's your first Sweet 16. So what is this feeling for you guys, you know, prove, the, prove everyone wrong, especially on the biggest well, people don't know, never know what they're talking about. They can prove, they can pick us to be upset. I don't really care. That's they can have their opinions. That's why they all all their brackets messed up anyway. But <laughs> but um, I just think just going out there and having fun, being us, and sticking together, and trusting each other. Marquette basketball is just you know it's like a whole experience. There are a lot of highs today. You know, they, Colorado is coming back. But what does it say about this team and the mentality? Be able, especially down the stretch, mm. to be able to hit those shots to keep them from scoring and to really go into this game and really take it home. Um, we're playing really good teams. They're going to make runs just like we make runs. So when they do that, we got to stick together. And so the mentality is just staying together, keep giving each other energy. We know we can get it back on defense. Next play, next play, whatever it is, and we can get a game. Get coming, a game coming back to campus. What are you telling Marquette Nation? Just be ready. We're not done yet. We're not, we're not full. Like I said over there, we're not full. We're still hungry. And I'm super excited to be able to go to Dallas and play NC State. So we earned ourselves another 14 tournament. We got to go out there and take it for sure.